All right, hello YouTube. We are about to, uh, yeah, all right. Um, I am hosting. Uh, there you are. Yeah. We're having the last I duel in uh, Tag Force Fives format. And then for the next one, we came to a mutual agreement that the the format, the card pool is through the release of Extreme Victory, following the 2011 uh, September 2011 ban list. So it's just like a more refined version of 5Ds, where Six Sam's is not tier zero. Um. Because that is literally the most boring deck to play. I'm not playing six Sam's in the next one. That's for damn sure. Anyway. Uh, Alright, I picked for RPS. Uh-oh. Yeah. And we are both on non-meta stuff this time, so. Very non-meta stuff. Yeah. Uh, did you draw for turn? There, there we go. go. Uh, that one... That to pass. All right. Stand by main. What flavor of pain will I be having today? Foolish burial. Uh huh. Um. I will send a new card, Stygian Street Patrol, to the graveyard. Oh, that's a good one. Then... Are you running a Stygian deck? Uh, no. Uh, but I am running Snipe Hunter. Uh, on the special... On the... Is that? Uh, do you have a? Do you have something to negate the summon? Before, because if you don't, I can just acquire Pryo. Uh. Yeah. Okay, I will still declare Pryo and get one chance to destroy your monster. Um, it's I, not a, what? It's not a quick effect. It falls under ignition priority. Where my monster will get banished. What? However, um, the way that ignition priority worked was like back in the day, exactly like this, where like someone could just kind of power through a quick effect before it applied. That's dumb. It is. Um, but I will discard in Then why is it a quick effect if it's slower than a normal one? This is why they ch they got rid of ignition priority. Okay, so I do get to take out your monster. Yep. Um, and then I will set two cards. Then I will activate uh, Stygian Street Patrol's effect from my graveyard to special summon Infernity Archfiend. Use its effect. And I will get Infernity Barrier. Set one. 
go to battle and try for 18. Yep. Back to you. Um, on attack, the, after new attack, I summon Gores. Hmm. Uh, foolish burial. Uh, hang on. I will. Oh man. Yeah, yeah actually, that's it. that's I fine. I am sending. That's you fine. want me to tell you I'm sailing? No, it's I'm it's sending fine. summon reactor SK. Uh, then for my normal summon, I'll summon trap reactor YFI. Uh. Okay. Uh, attack with gores. Alright, I will compulse scores. Uh, I do take 800 here for it, though. Right. No, that sends it back to your Wait. hand. Would you compulse scores? Because now I can play around it. Is it still destroyed or no? Like, you destroyed Compulse and dealt 800 damage to me, but Gores went back to your hand. Okay, Trap Reactor. Yep. I was thinking you were taking the damage from Gores. No. No, that would be uh, 900. Uh, I'll attack with the token... Making them clash. Uh, in damage step, I will chalice my own Archfiend. Yep. Yep, you had the one out. I am, like, neg pretty hard here, though. So, it's a question of whether or not this deck can get through that choke point. Uh, Gors took a lot of resources. Uh, and will take a lot of resources. Yeah. Because your trap card negates monster and spell and trap effects, correct? Yeah. So I at. So, I'm giving you a choice. Negate Gores or level limit area B. Uh, I will... Also, it's your main phase too. Um, I will use Infernity Barrier on level limit area B. Uh, because if I don't, okay. and Archfiend is in defense, I cannot Infernity Barrier later. So... Oh, it's a tap position? Yeah. That's stu <laughs> If I knew that, I wouldn't have done this. So. That is such an... Why? You forced the negate out, though. So, now you have an easier... Uh, okay. Time. Okay. Uh... Stand by me. Do you top deck or no top deck? Uh, I did not top deck well. I normal summon Stygian Street Patrol. Uh, okay. Go to battle and I will attack for a thousand. And then not attack directly because I know what's in your hand. And I will pass back to you. Uh, 
I the normal summon spell reactor re, and then my turn. All right. Anything in uh, standby? Nope. Okay. Um. All MST the back row. It was fake explosion. Huh. Summon reactor. Never seen this. Oh, wow. Good thing I MST'd that. Yeah, so right. glad you drew the one card that out. All so glad you drew it. Deal 600 damage. And then uh, not attack directly again because Gores. Foolish burial. Yep. Sending. Uh, flying full archer's skyfire to the graveyard. I'll end my turn. Huh. All right, so it's special summoned with the effect of summon reactor SK. What yes. does this do? During the battle phase... You've never read these cards before in your life. I never have. Um, you can negate the attack. You can send one... Etc. to special summon it from anywhere. Jesus. All right. Uh, the problem is getting them out. If these guys, okay, you know what's the one thing that could have fixed these cards is that they special summon themselves on effects, not not if the if they're if the negate slash burn wasn't their effect and it was, it was instead replaced with a special summoning clause. Ah. Uh. By the but, way. Go like, go so ahead reactor. and regain a thousand life points. I'm gonna draw a card. Uh. Hmm. All right. I will normal summon Infernity Necromancer. Unfortunately, I do not have targets for it. Um, Yay! But I, I'll I'll just wall up. This card's worded weird. Your turn. <clears throat> Level limit area B. All right. Stand by me. Set one. Pass. Pass. <laughs> oh. <gasps> okay. Uh, special summon Infernity Archfiend. I did the thing. Hey, I drew will... the out. Add um, the trap, Infinity Avenger. Oh, okay. Uh, normal summon Avenger. Uh, okay. I might have a way to out level limit area B. The question is, 
In the gores or no? If I do it, can I kill you? Well, the thing is, you not. The thing is, you have to not. I would more be more worried. Like, if you get gores out, he gets sent to defense position. Let's see, I think I have a way to kill you. So. I am going to go ahead and synchro okay. for nine here. And I know it'll get summoned in defense. Um, but Is I will. Trish? No, we don't have Trish yet. Uh, but I can bounce it with Mistworm. And then, okay, I will let's see. Um, Actually, I I don't think I can kill you this turn. Um, he miscalculated. Uh, I will use uh, Necromancer to special summon yeah. Archfiend, uh, which will allow me to yeah. search uh, Barrier. I could, yeah, and people still say this card should go back, to, not should be put to three again. Um, and then, put this to attack. Um, you can't do that. He would summon this turn. Oh, uh, actually, hang on a second. I'm gonna change. Oh, can I? No, that's fine. Um, let's see. Uh, I am looking up. All right, well, I actually have to pass here, but it was. Yeah. Set one, level limit area B. Okay, I will barrier the level limit. Okay. And turn. All right. Stand by main. Uh, I will set one. And then I will use um, Necromancer's effect. Targeting um, Avenger. Is that good? Yep. All right. Go for it. Then I will sink five. Not for Cataster because yep. it's banned. Um, but I will summon Stygian Surgeons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I will mm, shift Mistworm to attack 
uh, go to battle and attack with surgeons. Uh, Gores of fat. You cannot summon Gores when you have a backer on the field. What? You must control no cards to oh, activate that's... and to resolve this effect. Well, that's bull. Uh. So. Uh. Sure. Sure, I'll take the 22. Alright. Then I'll try for 25. Fake explosion. Let's see. Uh. Okay, um, it says cannot be destroyed by this battle. Um, however, the, okay, um, battle phase. Well, Then uh, I have to pass turn here. Then I can't redeclare because it wouldn't do anything. Uh, Black Salvo. Oh, uh, shit. I have something on res. For when the the monster gets to the field, uh, special summoning. Okay. Who else? On, F on summon, I, I will book of moon the salvo. So that you can't blow up my board. Uh, okay. You can destroy the Black Salvo, I don't care. But can I please have a homie draw just in case I draw the spell right reactor re? Uh well, I might not give a homie draw. I will give you a thousand life points. And actually, that's kind of bad. Um, uh, Has eleven attack, and then I will normal summon street patrol. Um, also, okay. I mean, when else am I gonna get uh, a chance to win with Stygian insurgents? Uh, I will go to battle, and I will have uh, street patrol clear summon reactor. Yep. Let's see. Oh, wait a second. No, 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 I no, 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 no. Uh, I'm not going to let you misplay. Uh, on normal summon of Stygian Street Patrol, uh, summon reactor uh, destroys normal it and deals summon. me uh, oh, wait. 800. Mind. Because that is a non-optional... What? That's a non-optional thing. So, then, uh, since that happened, um, I will declare... Uh, Necromancer... 
to get. Is this all the battle phase or main this phase? Is main is this phase. is happening? I had to rewind to the main phase because we skipped a mandatory effect. Um. Oh, okay. I will. The fuck do I want? Um. What's the mandatory effect that got destroyed? Uh, summon reactor SK's effect is mandatory. Uh, he's also going to oh, get okay. to negate one monster attack this turn. So, um, unless I do something about that, um, but Necromancer is going to, uh, Summon back. Wait, why? Avenger. Why did you send him to the graveyard? Hold on, send that guy back. You only take the eight thousand. It's not destroyed. Oh, okay. I was thinking of the other ones. All right, never mind. So I just take eight hundred. Yeah, this one's crap. This one's crap. Why are you? Th These oh. cards aren't good, dude. You got to okay. lower your expectations. All right, well, in that case, I will just Book of Moon your uh, Summon Reactor SK so it can't negate an attack later. Okay. Uh, it has 14, okay, so then sure. I'll go to battle and uh, hit over it with this. Because I know it has 1,400 defense. Uh, sure. Then... Um, Let's see. Infernity Archfiend will uh, clear the salvo. Uh, Stygian Surgeons will clear Trap Reactor, which then triggers his effect and he goes up to 3,000. Then I'll get in for 25. Uh, special... I'll some. I'll have to special summon Gores. All right. Uh. All right. I will have the Stygian Surgeons kill Gores. Because the, the token only has 25-25. And then... Uh, at the end of the battle phase, Stygian Surgeons attack stat goes back down to 22. And I will pass turn. Okay. I will move the oak into attack position. All right. I will attack and destroy Infernity Necromancer. All right. In phase two, I tribute the token for Summon Reactor SK. Yeah. I. <laughs> We're gaming now. Uh, I'm, I know, I'm going now in s final flight, boys. Final flight. I will MST the back row. You, yes. You did it again. <laughs> How do you, you drew the, you drew them exactly when I sent cards. Oh my God. Are these synced? Oh, oh my God! That was. This is this is this is why you and Infernities do not mix so well. Is just because you have <laughs> because you have anime villain draw power. <laughs> it it's the top decks. Infernity top decks are amazing. Uh, game two. And the thing is, 
You and Top Dex just mix too well. <laughs> Jaden can attest to that. Uh, there was one time he had a marshmallow on set. I had, um, I did not, I had Chaos Emperor of Dragon and Voy of the End out without enough life points to trigger its effect. So he set marshmallow on. Had yeah. I attacked into it, I would have lost the duel, but instead I top decked Nobleman of Cross out. And he was at under 3,000 life. So uh, there are also times where I had a Cyber Dragon that attacked into a Blast Sphere. And you know how it blows up your monster in your standby phase and deal, like, burns you? Well, he, um, basically, for the turn where that would have happened in my draw phase, I drew my body as a shield. Oh, perfect. So it not only saved it, why won you. but it also, um, it not only saved the, the Cyber Dragon, but I also took less damage than I would have. Um... I will... Uh... Oh man, that, that duel basically went perfectly for me. Like, every single thing just seemed to go my way. Uh, going first again. Draw for turn. Yep. And the, th the thing is, like, you drew the exact one of that could out my board. Yeah, and you drew the exact... <laughs> but no. We need a limit MST. Uh, we can't do that because we don't have enough uh, generic backer removal. Like, Heavy Storm is banned, Cold Wave is banned, True Nate is limited... So, like, unless you want us to be, like, running triple dust tornado, that's not a fantastic idea. Um, anyway, I'll activate Upstart Goblin. Yeah. Then I will... Activate uh, one for one, which is limited, by the way. Yep. Uh, pitching Infernity Mirage to summon Avenger. Uh, where is Avenger? I know I didn't cite it out. There we go. Here it is. Uh... Then I will activate this Infernity Launcher that I just had in my own. It was literally the first card I drew. Of course. Set to Normal Summon Archfiend, which was also in my opening hand. And sink for five. Yep. Uh, he worked so well last time. Stygian insurgents. Uh, then I will activate Infernity Launcher to special summon both Avenger and Archfiend. 
Uh, use yep. Archfiend's effect. Yep. To get barrier. Yep. Uh. I'm thinking. Um. Uh, sync for do. I actually have diverging lines from this position. Um, just do it. Just go. Just do it. Just go. Just I, do it. Just like go. there's two different. There's two different routes I can take this, and I don't know which one is better. Um. I believe I leave the Archfiend on field. The question is, like, I have a set card that I could activate. Um, at, well, we're always going to uh, sink six and make Goyo. Um,. Then Yep. Alright. Uh I'll go to battle and have uh Goyo attack your monster. Yep. Okay. So you draw a card and then I get to summon it to my side of the field. Uh so and it goes in defense. Uh, then I'll attack for 18. You know what's weird? Later on when they make another Goyo mo monster that that's like less attack, they make it special summon in its attack and they're like, oh, it's better this way. And it's like, it's better because it's a fair trail-off because it summons an attack. Uh... Level limit area B. Alright, I have to barrier this. Level limit area B. Oh, alright, alright. You got me. Uh, foolish burial. I don't have barrier anymore. You got through my one Omni. Uh, Set one, set two, pass. All right. Um, I will book of moon to Koichi. Oh, cool. Then I will flip summon to Koichi. It goes to defense, but I do get to draw a card. Uh, then I will normal summon uh, Stygian Street Patrol, which goes to defense. Um... Then hmm.
I, I think... I think I just have to pass. Good. Uh, normal summon trap reactor. Yeah. Pass. Okay, I think I have a play now. Uh, stand by main. Uh, I will yeah. activate Monster Reborn targeting Infernity Avenger. Is that good? Uh, Avenger? Yeah. Fine, I guess. Okay. I will then, um, synchro for nine. Yep. To make, uh, Mistworm, who will be summoned in defense. Uh, however, he, I will bounce, uh, level limit your face down monster and your face down spell or trap. Yep, yep, and yep. Uh, then I will put Archfiend and Goyo to attack. Um, yep. Then I will banish Stygian Street Patrol. Yep. To special summon Stygian Street Patrol. Yep. Battle Goyo will attack your reactor. Yep. And then I'll get in for 16 and 18. And, uh... That's the end of my turn. Black Salvo. Uh, on summon, I will compulse your Dekoichi. Step one, level limit. Uh, and turn. Yeah. Bowing you is like pulling teeth. <laughs> uh, stand by main. Uh, upstart goblin. Okay. Back to you. Set one pass. Okay. Flip up and then get Oishi. Alright. Uh, send them both to grave. Sink off for Arcane Magician. Arcanite? Uh, that does not work. Yep. You need a spellcaster, not machines. I... 
freaking joy. What else do I got? Black Rose? You can just nuke my board. Yeah, but then level limit is gone. Yeah, but you have like six more cards after that. To what I will have as I said fake I said I set my tr no I set my face down this turn. Uh Hang on. No. You did not. It's been there. Okay. <coughs> uh... Sure, Black Rose. Everything goes. Why didn't you Infernity Barrier? I couldn't. My monsters were in oh, defense. Oh, right, no attack. Stand by main. Uh, yep. Set one. Use, Another back row. Uh, Stygian Street Patrol's effect for my graveyard. Yep. Uh, Archfiend. Yep. To get. Uh, Necromancer. Full combo. Full combo. Full combo. Full combo. Kill Normal myself. summon. Full combo. <laughs> uh, I will use Necromancer's effect to uh, special summon Avenger. Uh, yeah, Infernity is now popping off. Uh, sync for eight. Yep. Uh, Hundred Eyes Dragon. Yep, Hundred Eyes Dragon of Fat. You know what? I'll just do your combo for you. Yeah, it banishes. Targeting a fairy necromancer. No, no. It banishes. Not... It banishes I... Mirage. And I send it to the graveyard to summon back Necromancer. And Archfiend. Declare Archfiend's effect. To get... Um... I already used, um... I've already used the Continuous spell this time. So... I will add Barrier to Hand, my last one. Uh, set this, activate Necromancer uh, to summon yep. Avenger. Yep. Yep. And then. Battle will get in for 18. Uh, yep. From two cards, I was able to rebuild my board after Black Rose. Huh. After you suggested Black Rose, I was like, he has it. <laughs> 
I had Infernity Arch Fiend in hand. I just wanted you to out your own uh, level limit. <laughs> I didn't care that I was losing all those monsters. Uh, set one and pass. Cool. Uh, stand by main. Normal summon Snipe Hunter. Uh, with, you know, no cards in my hand. Um, I only have the one Stygian Insurgents. Uh, yes, Mom. Okay, bye. They going yes, out? Yes, Warpick, Warpick, Warpick. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Do I want to do that? Um, by the way, uh, your choice in sleeve disgusts me. Oh, um, I will use, uh, Infernity Necromancer's effect before I sink off to, uh, special summon yep. Infernity Archfiend. I also only have the one Mistworm, uh... But hey, will... by the way, no, none of these cards are hard ones per turn. No. Um, I will go ahead and... Uh... Oh, I know what to do. I will synchro for... Um... I'll, I'll sink off the Snipe Hunter. And get... Magical Android. Uh-huh. Android attack the face down. It is... Blasphere. Uh, Blasphere fat. I will activate Infernity Barrier. Yep. Then I'll attack for 18. Yep. Do you have Gores? Nope. Alright. It's game. <laughs> Playing through Black Rose. The Infernity Dream. Everything. Well, I go for the. I go for off uh, uh, game three. Yeah, we'll do the game three. Um, I've basically had perfect opening hands twice in a row, which. Um. And I'm not drawing any of my good cards. Yeah, like that first game, I felt like you had better stuff than game two. Um. But, no, I, I built this... This deck took me a very long time to finish. But I finally got it to... Uh, okay. Oh, I drew that. Uh, send by main. Foolish burial. Nice. Summon Reactor SK to Grave. <laughs> Set one. Set two. Set three. Your turn. All right. Uh, anything like standby phase? Nope. Okay. Um. 
upstart goblin. Yep. Upstart goblin. Yep. Um. Uh, normal summon snipe hunter. Sure. Uh, with prio, I will declare its effect. And. Yep. I will pitch. Um. Mirage yep. targeting uh, this back row. All right, I got it. Oh. There's a gravity bind. All right, um, I will go again with Snipe Hunter, uh, discarding Infernity Barrier, targeting your other back row. Nice. Two for There was two. a mirror force. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh. You know what? I'll I'll try um. Snipe hunter. Um. Discarding book of moon. All right. Yep. Uh, then I'll go to battle, try for 15. I take it. Back to you. Black Salvo. Yep. Uh, special summon Gagoshi. Power tool dragon. I nice. I should have put equip spells. I should have put equip spells in this deck, but I thought we'd be using arcane magician. Ah. Uh, no, I mean it still deals with snipe hunter. So that doesn't mean resolve effect. Um, it's for him specifically. Okay, never mind. I, I'm I'm I am my snipe, turn. Snipe Hunter put in so much work. Yeah, it did. I noticed. Stand by main. Um Uh activate foolish burial. Um I will send Archfiend to grave. Uh, yep. Normal summon this. It goes to defense. Set a card and use Necromancer yep. to revive Archfiend. Yep. Some of the guy do the thing. Some of the guy do the thing. Some of the this, guy do the thing. Uh. Inferty barrier. Inferty barrier. Make my life terrible. Problem is, I'm not sure barrier does it. Um. Uh. 
I don't think I can get away with just, like, negating your stuff. Um. You, you really can. I'll add, well, I, I, like, looking at the allocation of what I have, I don't think it's a good idea for me. Um, I will activate launcher, um, yep. and then I will activate monster reborn, uh, targeting, yep. uh, I don't have any good targets in my graveyard, but, uh, black salvo. Yep. Then, uh... What can I summon? Uh, that doesn't do it. Okay, I will, uh... Sink... Or... I'll just sink seven for, um... Black Rose. Not using its effect, uh, but this will allow me to clear the power tool. And back to you. Oh, great. Draw that now. Uh, machine assembly line set one. Each time a face-up on the field is destroyed, place two junk counters. Whose level is less than... Oh, nice. That's a really good card. Um, stand by main. Uh, I will set one and use Necromancer to summon back Archfiend. Yep. Archfiend will add Avenger to hand. Uh, normal summon Avenger. Uh, I'll just skip a step here. Um, Hundred Eyes is going to banish Mirage uh, to replicate its effect, which summons back Necromancer, Archfiend. Uh, Archfiend will search a barrier. Um... Uh, Necromancer will summon this. Um, no, I'm once per turn to Fetz. Then again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And again, and again, and again, and again. This time I'll go into um, Infernity Doom Dragon. Yep. I will declare its effect on your monster. And, okay, you'll take uh, yep. 400 from that. 400? Yeah, 400 burn damage. But Infernity Doom Dragon cannot attack this turn. Oh, I heard... Th I thought it was 4,000. No, 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 no. Uh, Infernity Launcher. Uh, yeah. For Necromancer and Archfiend. Um, I will opt... Not to use Archfiend's effect this time. Um, but Why I, not? 
Uh, would you believe me if I said I'm out of targets already? Uh, yeah, you can still do it. But I will, I will... Yeah, there you go! Uh, revive... There you go! Avenger with Necromancer, and then, uh... Sink for eight. Um... I knew you could do it. And then... I'll make... Uh, Scrap Dragon. Uh, Scrap Dragon's effect, I will destroy your machine assembly line and Infernity Archfiend. Yep. Then I'll deal 28 direct. And that's my whole turn. Uh, good. What? Game. Oh, my God. Good game. So I had a uh, double barrier, uh, which, fun fact, works with Infernity Doom Dragon on the field and attack position. <laughs> so, uh, what? Uh, yeah, not. What changes would you like to see to the ban list? Uh,. Uh, let me think. Ban Scrap Dragon. Really? Uh, yeah. That's... Okay. Uh, wait, hold on, let me think about this. Because he was... No, Ben Inferti, uh... No, Burn Inferti, the level four, not one that special summons for itself from the hand if drawn. Archfiend, uh, basically banning Infernity Archfiend kills the entire archetype. Yeah, just do that. So, alright. Infernity Archfiend is insanely powerful for this era. Like, the fact that uh, you don't need, like, you, you have to have no cards in your hand to use his stuff is irrelevant. Um, yeah. So, all right. So, that's that basically deals with all the, the problem cards of Infernity because Launcher is limited. So, without Ar Archfiend, the deck just doesn't function. Um, you've got five points left. Um, I I know you had joked about uh, banning Monster Reborn, but that legit Monster Reborn legit like was a massive combo extender. Uh, and it's yeah, ban it. Okay, it's just one point. Yeah, so you have four points left. Um. Uh, Book of Moon is going to one on the next list, so that would just be a waste of points to do anything with it. Um, uh, I'm going to use no. I'm going to use a note. No, uh, Gravity Bind is currently at two. I'm going to put it to three. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I thought it was already at three. Let me double check. Um. Nope. I remember uh, on it our to custom two, on our custom list, it is at three. You did put it to two oh, at one okay. at one point, but then like on the very next time you had eight points, you used another point to move it to three. So, oh, okay, thank you, previous me. Yeah, um, you were smart about it. Uh, um, okay, you've got four points left. Um, would. There, there are some, like, pretty crazy cards that, like, did come up that are just, like, insane staples, um, which are Upstart Goblin and Foolish Burial. Um, uh, I, 
because upstart literally just I think, means you can I run think a- sa- I, I think I think sadly it's time not uh Ban up start and put foolish barrier all uh do I want to limit foolish burial? Uh if you ban upstart uh, that's three, you could put foolish burial to two. Nah, I'm gonna do something else. Okay. Are you banning upstart though? Yeah. Or, okay. So Upstart, Monster Reborn. Infernity Launcher being at one right now didn't matter at all because you just could search it a uh, drop of the hat. The the thing though is that without Archfiend, like it doesn't actually do anything. So Yeah, without without that one guy it doesn't do anything. Yeah, Archfiend is basically the centerpiece of the entire deck and Um like the the he's just so fucking crazy like if you top deck him and you have no cards in your hand you just start popping off if you foolish burial him revive him with necromancer you start popping off if like he and necromancer are in your graveyard you can mirage and start popping off you like he's he's the centerpiece of all of its combo lines but um yeah, so you've got one point left. Um, if you wanted to ban malicious to make sure that uh, I couldn't, I have, I have two points left, right? You have one point left. One point. Yeah. What have I done? So you use three points to, um. Use three points ban to ban Archfiend. Uh, you use three more to ban Book of Moon. Or, no, you didn't. No, no, no. What? Um, not Book of Moon, sorry. Uh, you, okay, so three points to ban Archfiend. One point to uh, ban Monster Reborn. Um, and then uh, three more points to ban Upstart Goblin. So, um, um, that's seven points. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take back, I'm going to take back the ban on the monster reborn. Really? Yeah. Cause it's a lot more powerful than upstart. I know it's just fun. All right. I will put it back. Uh and Well now I can't play Infernities in the final one. All right, so you have two points. Like the the fact that Infernity can come back that hard from getting like their board nuked is uh, absolutely bonkers. I did put Dark Magician of Chaos to three. Wow. Okay. Demok is at three. Okay. Um. I'm just I'm just showing you that the card isn't that as crazy as you think it is. I think it's absolutely insane for some of the power spells that are in the format. Especially Dark Hole and Monster Reborn. 
plus like I mean you can use it to like get a f I mean if it's at three you can now use it to get like three more upstarts and play a 34 card deck uh yeah I, I uh, let's see here so upstart Goblin, Infernity, Archfiend. So, um, I will send you the Infernity list uh, that I was using. Um, it's, uh, so you good if I go ahead and cut the recording here? Yeah. All right.